Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Wyatt and welcome to this video. You guys, I have finally cracked the case. God is so good. Electronic stalking. Gonna tell you some stuff that happened. I hadn't been, put it this way, I hadn't been asleep since I woke up yesterday. All right. And um, did my hair a little different, you know, so it takes a minute, but didn't know, didn't know the sun had come up. And I'm like, should I just gone and stay up or whatever? And please excuse that sound. That, okay. That's me leaning up against um, this drawer or cabinet. Okay, but before I get started, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure to click that notification bell so that you, that's you, wherever, okay, there we go, will be one of the first to get notifications of new vids I post up. Scroll down where the text is posted for the video. You will find some terms, T-E-R-M-S. I ask that you look those terms up. I'm begging you via a video format platform, and right now that's YouTube, ordering information for my skin and hair care line. The uh, listing for the skin and hair care line, the current listing is uh, where the text is posted posted as well. But keep in mind, there will be other items added. And um, also, don't send funds, donations or funds for products uh, electronically via a credit card or debit card. Please send a money order as it stands right now because I am a victim of gang stalking. One of those terms. And uh, you guys, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me finish. One of those terms I'm asking you to look up gang stalking. I'm also asking you to look up electronic stalking. So, hadn't been asleep since... Um, let me stop leaning up against that. Hadn't, well, it's on that side too. Hadn't been asleep, you guys, since I woke up yesterday. Today is um, Wednesday or thir Thursday? Thursday. And so I uh, woke up Wednesday and left out. And of course, all, I came back throughout the night. I haven't been asleep. I was working on my hair. And as you can tell, I am sleepy. Okay. So... Let me show you guys what happened. Pretend the stove is in, in its spot. Okay, it's in the spot where it goes. So if it were in the spot, and I try to keep my stove pretty clean, this would be all dis turned on, of course. This would be displayed in green or something. The time would be there. I've never set the time. But I noticed when I came home one day or whenever I noticed it, probably about six months ago, my, my best friend was still living. He passed away in December 20, uh, 2021, just to, you know, for a timeline. And it was way before he passed away. I noticed, so I'm going to try to hold on, you guys. I got to do this. I'm using one hand. Hold on. I'm just going to leave that off for right now so I can push the stove back in place so you guys can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. And if not in, and if not in place, okay. There you go. Um, so what happened was I, after I finished my hair, I got really close to my stove, this area like this, my face, looking at something. Oh, looking, I wear glasses. So I like for my stuff to be clean. And trust me, ladies, if you like to clean and you wear glasses, keep your glasses on. You're going to find some stuff. You can go around thinking your house is clean and it's really not. Put those glasses on. I've been noticing it. Like, gosh, I put my glasses on. Oh, I thought that was clean. It's clean, but it's not, you know, spick and span because, you know, whatever. So I noticed um, in this area right here, you know, some some debris. And so I was cleaning it out and I had to bend 
closer to clean it out to see it, right? All right. So, you know, and I don't keep my, 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 um, watch them do this in there unless they're all going to be used. So I take them out. So I had to show you that. When I bent over you guys to look at the debris, a very familiar voice above my head, which I've heard this before, her say, eh. So I was like, hold on. Let me push this back because I got to show you something. Trust me, her E is not warranted. Trust me. So when she said that, I straightened up and I was like, eh. Why would she say it and I just bent down here to clean debris? Hmm, that's weird. I've heard her say that before when I bent down and was looking, probably not to clean debris, probably was to see if it's anything there. You know, squinting my eyes because I don't have my glasses on, you know, because I, because I don't have my glasses on. And I was like, hmm, see you guys, I was born at night not last night, and I am not, by any means of the spectrum, the dumbest cookie in the cookie jar. This idiot above my head thinks that he is so freaking smart. I keep telling him he's not. The, they have been following me around for five years, you guys. Bluetooths in every freaking apartment. Sometimes This one right here, 11 maximum. The other apartment where it started, and mind you, these Bluetooths were not in my apartment like this, or I hadn't noticed them. I hadn't noticed them because when I first moved in, I wanted was looking for someone that had Wi-Fi, you know, and I'm real technical. So I would have seen Bluetooth, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I got so much to tell you guys. Ooh, wee. So <laughs> I said, uh... I think I took a ju some juice out to drink it. And I was like, oh, no. Look at, I said, I said it loud. I said, I'm going to look at the, I'm, Bluetooth. They can hear me. And by the way, you guys, Bluetooth is close, has to be close in the area for reception. It's, it's, it's low frequency and Wi-Fi is high frequency, meaning you can get someone's Wi-Fi probably two streets over. Bluetooth has to be in the area. So if there were a Bluetooth speaker right here, I could probably, I can get it in my bedroom. Definitely one bedroom. You know, I can get it in my bedroom. I can get it anywhere in my apartment. But if I went outside with the device, well, let me explain when I say I can get it. I can get the reception from the Bluetooth speaker. And, you know, you have to have two devices for Bluetooth minimum. So I can get, I can receive sound. There you go. If I took, if it was coming from my, from my phone, and the Bluetooth is a receiver. I can probably step outside, but that's about far as far as it's going to go. It's not going to go too far, you guys. Wi-Fi, however, however, as I said, two streets over, you can probably get your neighbor's Wi-Fi. I don't know where you live. I'm just making a point. So I have had Bluetooths in every freaking, freaking apartment I have lived in. Three apartments and I'm about to move again. But... I came home one day. See this? See how it's off off the hinges? I didn't even know it was hinges until like I messed with it and uh, I messed with it again. One day I messed with it. And then I just so happened I can't do it with the phone. I happened to lift it up and it fell off in into the thing. And I'm like, okay, okay, so that's that's easy to fix. No. I'm telling you guys these things so you'll know. Additionally. My freaking stove, where I moved from, I, you guys, I, I I have not only impeccable taste, please don't let this fool you what you're looking at. And I don't mind you seeing it because a lot of people get it. This is how she has to live. This is how she's going to live right now. Get it. If you don't get it, get off this video. I have people that can vouch for me that this here is not my freaking lifestyle at all. Not even remotely close. So, but, but you got to show people what's going on, right? 
My other apartment that I just moved from, you guys, check this out. Stove clean. I take my I take my uh, owl, eyelids or whatever they're ca all called off, and I keep them in a in a in a in a, in a container that you know that's real neat that you can just sit on top of the the cabinet. And when I use when I need to use them, then I I will pop them back in its place. I've 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 been doing that for some years. I just don't leave them just sitting out. But my stove where I moved from, right over here in this corner, probably same brand. All of a sudden was just bent all up. I'm like, who? Like someone got a crowbar and brand new apartment complex, brand new stove. Okay. Like someone got a crowbar and just went to town on it. It was all bent all up. And this was all leaned all up. Like I can't show you. Hold on. Like it's like it's winking at someone, you know, like now, like it's just one part up, one part down. I'm like, what the heck? You know? I, but, but you got to understand, I don't get excited about too much shiggity they do because my gang starts because I, I when I told you guys and tell you guys they will go to the ends of the earth, they will go. So when I lifted my body, getting back to the story, when I lifted my body up, guess what's right here? You guys can see you guys can see it in, in the shadow, the reflection. Now, when you look at my breast, I keep stuff in my bra. So don't think my nipples are hard or something like that. Is they're not. They're not. What is this right here, though? Oh, okay. That's still some of my stuff. So I keep my USB drives. I keep my SD cards. I keep stuff. You come in here and get them. Come in here and get them. Go off in my bra and get these. I dare you. Don't even try it. So when I lifted back up, you guys, and I was like, what the, you know, and I, I don't even remember, it'll come back to me what I was telling you, because I have to tell you, when I lifted back up, something happened. So anyway, I was like, wow, what the, you know what is going on? So I decided, I said, you know what, if she said is. And she's done it before. That means there's a camera or something right off in here. Did I say there's a camera? Just like in my other place. I knew the reason why this was all bent up and it wasn't like that was that they had manipulated electronic stalking and put a camera right here. Oh, oh, here we go. Where are my breasts, you guys? My breasts. My famous breasts. Especially since they are on video floating around when I was got out the shower one day or bathtub and, and was in the mirror doing my hair for three hours. I'm a 4C, the thickest and coarsest hair on the planet. Didn't have any freaking clothes on and I'm in my mirror for three hours doing my hair. Did not know there were cameras and multiple men and women, I'm sure, watching me the entire time no clothes on my bra my boobies are all up in the mirror just nothing on when i lift it up from, from what i understand i got some beautiful breasts man let let my neighbors tell it they weren't telling me but i heard the conversation i have some really nice breasts itch i haven't slept with you how do you know how my breasts are Oh, you're in cahoots with my gang stalkers. Okay. Even though you're one at 75 and fist you, you, you have the video. Okay. I've never slept with you and I definitely have never just taken my bra off in this apartment. Never. Never have I revealed my breasts, just showed them. How, how do you know how my breasts look? Woo woo. You guys see what I'm saying? Gang stalking, videoing women against their against their approval and their will. My breasts are right here. There they go. Boop, boop, right there. When I lift up, you guys, like I said, I'm not the dumbest cookie in the cookie jar. I'm gonna analyze some stuff and I'm gonna figure it out. And thank, thank you, Jesus. Even though I have always had a lot of common sense, thank you, Jesus, for my employment at U.S. Customs. It really had an impact on me as far as doing investigations. 
Some people need to quit their day job because they don't thoroughly figure stuff out. They don't put the puzzle pieces together. And just like with, with my gang stalking people that I tell, they want to jump to conclusions and think that I'm crazy. And they're, they, and they right up under my nose. Some of them I've talked to every day I was. I'm like, it seems to me, instead of you trying to figure out what's wrong with me, you're hating and want something to be wrong with me. Let me say that again. It seems to me, instead of you trying to figure out what's wrong with me, you're hating and want something to be wrong with me. You guys figure that out. Here we go. So I'm like, okay, if she said it and my breasts are right here, there is a camera or something right here. This stove was like the, the same situation was with my stove where I moved from all of a sudden had been there like three, four, five months. All of a sudden my stove is like leaning all up this part right here. The same part all up your and all I would do is lift it up, clean it, and let it back down real gently because I'm proud. If I, have, I love to cook. So what I, what I cook on you guys, it's going to look nice. Okay. Because I love to cook and not only love to cook. See, it's one thing to love to cook. But when you can cook, put both of those together, I can throw down. So I want my stove to be shiny. I want to look down there and see my reflection. Okay? Not demanding. That's just how it's going to be. Then I went to, to part four. I was like, nah, I'll just move it tomorrow. But I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. They figured out that you think it's a camera in there and they're going to do something. So the good Lord said, no, 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 you better do this now. I pulled it out, you guys. And when I pulled it out, I noticed, you know, because I've cleaned behind her at least two or three times since I've been here. I've been here two years. Coronavirus has kept me here longer than what I expected. I'm doing month to month. So when I pulled it out, there was a lot of debris for which I've swept. Not going to mop it. I'm leaving. Sweeping is enough. This is how it looked basically when I came here. So I got the, 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 mop, the, the, I pulled it out and I'm looking, I noticed some screws back here. I'm like, why are these screws back here? Now, you guys don't know this, but I did, I used to have a playlist called Kimmy this week. <laughs> and in Kimmy this week, I'm laughing because my camera is, 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 is doing its own thing now. And in Kimmy this week, one of the videos, and I, what what came me this week was weekly. I would tell you guys what I did uh, for the week. You know, period. What happened? What did I do for the week? And I, I would be on video, and then the pictures were on. Uh, I did pictures and videos. Okay, the pictures and the pictures were on Google Plus before they got rid of Google Plus, and the videos were on YouTube. I think yeah, YouTube. Either way. In one of those videos, before I decided to get rid of Kimmy this week, I showed you guys a piece of wood that had some nails in it that my neighbors above me who had moved out left outside. And it was just weird. It wasn't just there was it was there were nails in it. All of these nails, big three by four, two by four, long, long one, like a two by more of a two by six or something. Well, no, no, because when I lifted it up, it hit the ceiling. I brought those, make a long story short, I threw the original ones in the trash. They had moved. And I'm like, what are these nails doing off, off in, in, and what are these nails doing off, off in this wood like this? So the nails were in there, but then someone got a hammer and hammered them to the left or right, you know, made them bent. And that was in, 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 in it's outside and, and you're in an apartment. You're not in your home with all these nails in this piece of wood. And it just, it just wasn't adding up and you got it outside. You guys, please know, please know that nails are conductors of electricity. Nails are conductors of sound. I took electrical courses, an, ele un an electrical course. And we never discussed what nails are. That's just common sense from taking the course, but nails are, I know con conductors. I knew that. So I was like, Bluetooth 
conductors, they're spying on me. See, the people that lived above my head were spying on me as well as the people that are currently living there. And they knew each other from the spying. Before I moved in here, the idiot above my head, I'm sure, came to them. This is how it goes to ask them to be perps. He didn't say it that way to spy on me. I met this guy when I came up to my apartment and uh, he was coming up the stairs. I was going up down the stairs or something just to see um, what. No, 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 no. I was leaving out of my apartment or some, whatever it was. We introduced ourselves to each other. Um, there was a lady going up the stairs and she I think she had something on her hair. And I that's why I went up the stairs to take it off. She didn't know. But either way, met this guy. And I said, well, you know, I has anyone asked you to spy on me in my apartment? He he looked at me so funny. He said, no. And I said, well, what do you do? And he said, uh, block that he did something. He, and he was an Omega. Well, my ex-husband is an Omega. An Omega sci-fi fraternity. So I said, oh, if you're an Omega, I know you're not going to be down with spying on anyone. He said, no, but he was giving me this look. See, I got a lot of discernment. Yeah, they came to you and they asked you to spy on me. And you said no until you saw me. Oops. You guys heard that? So the first, they left out of the apartment, even though she tried to remain and they got evicted, as a matter of fact, and got sued because their floor they had uh, manipulated their floor to better see me in parentheses with the high tech equipment. You guys, please look up five devices you can't hide from. And the website is Serva, 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 Servopedia or Servipedia. Forget the website. Just look up five devices you can't hide from. It's, it's there on the internet. Okay. All right. So... And I think the device they're using, the high tech one is number two. So I threw that, those in the trash. I was like, it was more than one. It was like two, two, two piece, two, two pieces of wood that were approximately two by eights or something like that, real long. And they were on top of each other. And both of them had an enormous amount of nails. And all of the nails were like hammered in and th not all the way and then bent down towards the wood. I'm like, what is this? Okay, that Kimmy this week. I show you those nails. I show you those nails and I'm trying to remember what was revealed about those nails. It'll come to me, hopefully. So after I bent, lent, lent, lifted up, saw my breasts were in this, this area, I moved this out of the way. There was some debris, debris behind here. I swept it up finally because I, and let me move this back how I had it. I got to show you something. But when I took this back panel off, there were screws in here, rather. Let me back up. I saw screws on the floor in the debris. And I'm like, golly, how did all this debris get back here? First of all, when I, you know, I don't, I, I'm not doing all that. But, you know, okay, some months had passed by since I last cleaned behind here. A couple of pieces of food, you know. But it was a lot of debris. But I, what I noticed were the nails. You guys, hold on. I'm like, I start, I was, when I, once I, I picked up one of the nails and looked at it. Now, let me show you guys something. I got to show you guys this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. You guys. This nail. This nail right here. This nail right here came out of a headboard, as well as some others. There's like eight of them. A headboard that used to be behind your girl's bed when she was a little girl. I finally dismantled that headboard and kept the little sections of it. The little section on the right, little section on the left that was plush. You know, with, with, with the little uh, uh, buttons in the middle of it. You know, buttons to push the material in. 
I would get it out and show it to you. Okay. I kept that part of the headboard because I like designing stuff and making stuff. And I'm like, okay. And I kept these nails. You know why I kept these nails? These nails are about 50 years old. Why were these nails down here on this floor? Three of them. Can somebody explain that to me? I knew it was more than three. When I swept up the stuff in the dustpan, I had picked one of them up. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is this nail doing down here? You know why? Because I decided to keep those nails. That's not why. I decided to keep those nails while I was questioning questioning it. And let me show you guys something. Those nails, which I have seen more than once, were off in here with other nails and have been they were in the drawer they were in a drawer or, or another container i just i kept i got, got the accumulating them nails i just said okay for right now candy jar put them all in there because i frequently use them to put up stuff on my wall right to cover up cameras so when i swept the stuff in the dust plan let me hurry this up i noticed that i there were three of them all up to, I'm like, why are there three of these nails on up that used to be um you know they came out of my in other words my headboard when I was a little girl as a matter of fact cameras they knew I was keeping those nails because so I was like oh my god these nails are oh 50 50 years old not only that you guys I've seen the nails more than once all of them in the drawer I've seen those nails in a in a contain and or a container uh, well, a, a, and a container. Okay. I can even show that to you if I, if I can get to it. Hold on. This container that houses my, my paintbrush. You know, I do a lot of crafts and stuff. Yeah. Paint. I've seen all those nails looking for, not for look, I'm looking for them, but looking for other nails. To put up curtains and stuff on my wall to cover shit up. You know what I'm saying? They were there. Why are they down here on this floor? They got, guess what else was down on the floor? Now, I have a drill. Every woman should have a drill. And, and all of my adult life, basically, I have had a drill. I'm real crafty. You guys, why was this down there with the nails? I'm thinking, and the debris. I'm thinking... How the hell did this get down there when I, I don't have my tool for this? I don't have the, I have the toolbox for this, um, drill. But before I started recording, I stupidly took it back in my bedroom. But here's the deal. This is just me cross the T dot the I. All of my bits, these are called bits, have been in, if in that container. Except for one, this one, which I have kept in here all the time. I only take it out when I have to use a flathead. But other than that, that what, am, what am I doing with this? Oh, what, the, what? Really? You guys. So that prompted me after I got all the debris up and noticed this and noticed the nails. I'm like, no, and I'm, I'm, and me, I'm stupidly looking at this side as a, as a side that goes into the nail socket. Never thought about this side right here. Stay with me. So what I decided, this panel was, of course, back here on the back of this stove. I'm like, if it's a camera back here, let me go ahead and do it now. Let me take this off. So got my drill and uh, started taking the screws out. These are the, the screws. Let me show you. Let me show you one of them. Screws. Right. Started taking them out. They came out real easy. But before I started taking them out, I was like, oh, because because of the shape of the screw. I'm like, screws. I was like, oh, you don't have, you don't have. I'm thinking I needed a, 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 hexagonal, a hexagon set, which I have. To take these out because you can kind of look at the shape of it right i'm like oh that would mean me having to go and looking i'm like nah i'll just do it tomorrow 
But then something said, girl, go get your drill now and take those screws out. They will, it will fit right in there as well. So like I said, I keep this one in there and I put it in there and true and lo and behold, all of them came out. Okay, let's stay with me. That's when I revealed this right here. I'm like, now I'm not saying this doesn't belong here at all. What I am saying is manipulated. Okay, it's manipulated. Here's the deal. I was like, wow, this looks like a modem. What, what, what in this God's creation? What is that? And then what you want to do is look here and see what the manufacturer is. Okay. If it's a weird name, it's probably it probably does go here. But if it's something like, um, God, what what what, what would be in a computer, Intel or something like that? You know, you know. Well, okay, that that's definitely a modem. But then again, something said. <laughs> something's always saying something, right? Take this drill bit and try to fit it off into the screw, the silver screws. You guys, I, I, I got one. I got one hand I'm using. I'm fixing to try to do this so that you can see this. Hold on. Fit like a charm. Or y'all see where I'm going? My screws that went to my, this is witchery. My screws that went to my bed when I was a little girl. Now, two of them were in, were in the candy dish. I knew it was more than three. Two of them were in the candy dish. There's still one or two missing because, you know, it's two sides to this headboard. If, if you know, not separate sides, like the, the his and her side, you know, um, like it was a lot of that going on back in the day. His and her sinks and his and her, you know, and five screws. That's that's not divided ev evenly. Look at that fits right in there. Perfect. And I and can actually screw it. I put, I held it, and if I didn't have this camera in my hand, it would even though it's moving around. No, it actually moves the screw like that. I'm like, what the hell? This has been in my screw box, you guys. My bit box, where this goes forever. Do you know I took these screws out almost two years ago? I've been in this apartment two years. I took those screws out of that headboard. Probably, I I probably hadn't even been in this apartment four months. Three, when I took those screws out. That was almost two years ago. It, it, April, April. It was two years ago. I've been here for two years, rather, April. So it's almost two years that those screws came out of that headboard. This is why I tell you guys, they listen to everything you're saying. So if you look at some screws and say, Oh boy, I'm gonna keep these right here. You know, you know, you know. Just talking, I'm gonna keep these right here. These are old. They belong to you when you were a little girl. What are they doing on the floor? Witchcraft. 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 They just recently found out that everything in my storage. If you go in my storage, I'm not taking you. You don't even know what I'm taking. I'm not taking half of that stuff. I just wanted you to think I was taking half of the stuff, which is why I got it out of my apartment. True statement. Because a witch told a guy, former maintenance guy, well, maintenance guy in my former apartment complex, they had a, a, a tur big time turnover of maintenance. He sent my picture to sum that up to a witch. And that witch got back with him and told him several things about me, which I have never met this woman before. One of which was, they're going to continue to find her because they're using her clothes. That explains to me why my clothes would reappear and disappear, uh, would have disappeared and reappear all of this, all, uh, all this time. First apartment, second apartment, here. It got to the point here when something would reappear. You know, you, it's not that you're looking for it, but when it pops up, you're like, oh, this, I haven't seen this and blah, 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 blah. But you know where it was. 
Y'all get that? You weren't looking for it, but you know where it was. And you, you know you've looked in that area probably for something else and it wasn't there. But you're not focusing on that particular thing at the time. But when it reappears, you know, God, this hasn't even been right here. You know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, you, you get me? I would go burn it. My best friend would take me to go burn those clothing items. When he told me what the witch said, it made me cry because I didn't even know this lady. I hadn't told her anything like that. I hadn't told him anything like that. I just noticed my clothes and I got a lot of clothes. Some of my clothing articles would disappear and then they would be reappear and I'm looking for them. Now I'm looking for these. They would reappear like a, like a, a leather jacket, you know. Just like now, the weather's still cool in, in Texas. And then this is May. Same thing last year. So I had to pull out one, one of my jackets to wear in April. So because I was moving and had boxes, I just folded it up, you know, shoulder to shoulder and put it on top of the box. That jacket disappeared, you guys, for some days and then reappeared. As a matter of fact, As a matter of fact, my neighbor upstairs again, I'm looking out the back door. You could park right, right at literally right at the back door. And I'm looking out and I see him with his jacket on. I'm like, why does he have on this little bitty jacket? You know, bomber jacket all the way up, up, up past his, his wrist. And, and I'm like, what is he doing with that little bitty jacket on? Yeah, mine, same color, same size had disappeared, it reappeared because they had to put a spell on it to find out where I was moving or to help them find out where I was moving. Not only does this bit to fast forward, and, and I may have to do a part two on this, not only does this bit fit in the screws here, guess what other screws it fits into? My screws from my headboard. This is the headboard. This goes to stove. This is here. I can pull this off and look back there. But most importantly, you guys, because I'm pressed for time, something said, because I this is unplugged. Nothing's going through here. Guess what? Kimmy, 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 turn your Bluetooth on on your phones. Turn it on all of them. How about no Bluetooth showed up but an Ibistec on one of my phones? And guess what? The Ibistec is outside my door. They had to put, get the Ibistec because they're looking right at me right now as I record this. And the Ibistec, had, they had something had to show up. Nothing but the Ibistec showed on my phone. And I have had at least eight 